I'm studying epiphytes on redwoods. In order to understand what an epiphyte is, we have to break up the word. Epi, that means on, and phyte is Greek for plant. So an epiphyte is simply something that grows on another plant. Epiphytes, they have many important functions in the redwood ecosystem. Redwoods, they contain tannins and other relatively toxic compounds that makes them more or less inedible. Therefore, epiphytes, they could easily be a very important food component for many of the animals that occur in the forest. And we know that, for example, slugs and voles and deer, they eat epiphytes. There are several different kinds of epiphytes. I have concentrated on three kinds. Vascular plants, such as trees, shrubs and herbs. Then I've looked at bryophytes, which consist of mosses, liverworts and hornworts. And finally, I have also looked at lichens. And lichens are actually really cool organisms. They consist of a symbiosis between one or more fungi and green algae or cyanobacterium. The green algae or the cyanobacterium, they can photosynthesize like other plants. They provide the fungus with the sugar it needs to survive. In return, the fungus protects the algae to some extent from excess sunlight. And it also provides the algae with water. Lichens become dormant when they're dry. So as soon as they dry out, they kind of go to sleep. They remain totally inactive while they wait for water to wake them up again. I'm doing this because epiphytes are such an important and large component of the redwood ecosystem. There are hundreds of different epiphyte species in the redwoods, but we hardly know anything about what grows in the trees in the southern part of the range. So I was really excited when Save the Redwoods League decided to fund my study. Save the Redwoods League was really excited to support this lichen research. We know so little about what's happening at the top of the trees, what's living up there, what's growing up there. How can we take care of this tremendous forest if we don't even know what lives in the forest? Coast redwood trees get so big over the centuries that they live. They are this amazing habitat for other organisms. Lichen themselves are so cryptic, really hidden, often out of view up at the tops of the trees. And by studying the lichen, we're able to determine whether our forests are suffering from air pollution. We're also very interested in helping younger forests recover to be the old growth forest of the future. And as part of a healthy forest that recovers, it's gonna to need to have the same organisms that live in our pristine old growth. By studying old forests and the lichen inhabitants that grow in the redwood trees, we have this amazing reference that we can use as we work to restore younger forests. In order to get a full picture of what epiphytes grow on the trees, you have to climb the tree. If you only look at what you can reach from the ground, you miss out on a huge proportion of all the epiphytes that are up there. I've chosen to work in three state parks, Armstrong Redwoods, Big Basin Redwoods, and Pfeiffer Big Sur. In each park, I have climbed five trees, and in each tree, I have 100 plots. In these plots, I have registered both the abundance of richness of all the different epiphyte species. That takes quite a while. I have worked between four and five days in each tree. I love looking at epiphytes. There's so much diversity, so many different shapes and so many different colors. You just have no idea what's out there until you start looking. And it's all out there, out in the trees, just waiting to be discovered. <laughs>